Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. I want to make sure I show you those chips, okay? Those are the tortilla chips that I'll be using, okay? We are getting ready to make my Tex Mex meatballs. We're going to use some extra virgin olive oil, garlic salt, Mrs. Dash, some cumin, some ancho chili powder. We're going to use some oregano, granulated onion. We're going to use some of these chipotle peppers. We're going to use some crushed tomatoes, garlic. That is a half of a red onion. And I'd say about a fourth-ish of a cup of uh, cilantro. That is one jalapeno, ground beef, and those are the chips. I crushed them up. As you can see, I just crushed those up. See? All right. Here's your shot of everything we'll be using. Let's get cooking, you guys. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to saute the onions. I should have opened up my olive oil. We're going to saute the onions in the jalapenos about a tablespoon is all you need and we're going to let this go for about five minutes until it gets good and soft okay so that's the first step so we're going to let this go for about five minutes and you can absolutely add more jalapenos if you want I'm not again like I always tell you I want mine for flavor not for the heat but if you want the heat go ahead all right so we're gonna let this go for about five minutes and I'll be back all right there we go that's what she's looking like it's been five minutes now we're gonna cook this for another three we're gonna put in at least two that's about two and a half tablespoons of garlic I'm going in with the cumin I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of that as well the same with Mrs. Dash. I'm going to do it with the oregano. The same thing with the ancho chili powder. And then I'm going to put in the garlic salt. Whoop, didn't mean to bop you. And then I'm going to go in with that granulated onion. We're going to stir this all together. We're going to let those flavors marry. And I'm going to do this for about two minutes, okay? Let all those flavors get to know one another. And guess what? I'll be back. All right. I've got in there ground beef, which is like, what is that thing? It's like 2.25 pounds. You can definitely divide this up in half. The cilantro, the corn um, tortillas, and then here is the mixture that we made. Okay, and then we're just going to combine all this together, and then we're going to make meatballs. And no, we don't need an egg for this, but if you want to put an egg in yours, feel free to do whatever you want. It's your meal. So I'm just going to mix all of this together. Look at those pretty colors. And it's a bunch of yummy going on. The, the uh, chips are actually our breadcrumb kind of situation. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure there's a million ways to make this, but this is how I make mine. All right. I'm telling you, it smells so good, too. It ain't even started cooking yet, and this smells absolutely amazing. No, I'm not going to put any seasonings in this because, remember, we put some in the um, onions and the jalapenos when we sauteed those, and then we put the garlic in there. All of those have all that flavor going on. You don't want to put too much flavor in there because nothing worse than a salty meal. I mean, unless you like salty, more power to you. I don't. It's up to you on what size you want your meatballs to be. Okay. And then I'm just going to put them right on into the skillet. So I'm going to grab me a little pinch, roll it up, put it right on into the skillet. And that's what I'm going to continue to keep doing. All right. Put it right on into the skillet. And I'm going to make as many meatballs as this baby decides it wants to produce, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. And when I'm ready for the next step, I'll come back and we'll go there. This is really a yummy meal. All right, I'll be right back. All right, this is what she's looking like. Doesn't that look delicious already? I went on and put it in here rather than to put it on another pan. Maybe I'm going to have to do another dish. Okay, that's how that worked out. So it's already heating up. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. And we're going to just turn these babies around constantly. 
So this is going to take us about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your stove. And I'm cooking this on a medium heat. All right, I'll be back. All right, I've put in the crust, crushed <laughs> tomatoes. And I've also put the adobe sauce in here, which is the chipotle. I took out the peppers. If you like the heat, go ahead and leave it in there. But I just use nothing but the sauce. Okay, we're going to let this heat for about 10 minutes. But I'm also going to put in about a tablespoon of sugar. Just to offset that heat just a little bit, okay? And then we're going to let this come to a boil. And it's going to, we're going to let it go for, I think I'm just going to go ahead and let it all marinate together for about 10 minutes, okay? And then I'll be back, all right? All right, it's been 10 minutes. See how thick that is? All right, we're going to add the meatballs to it. I'll be right back. All right. Our meatballs are in there. We're going to let them simmer in that sauce. We're going to let it simmer for five minutes. Then she'll be ready to eat. All right. I'll be back. There are our Tex-Mex meatballs. I let it simmer for five minutes. Took it out. Put some more cilantro in there. And of course, a little lime. And oh my goodness. Things made easy with Gigi, all day, every day. Look at that yumminess going on right there. Please like, subscribe, and feel free to share. Come on, you guys, subscribe to the channel. You can do it. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. Know that you're going to see Gigi on the next one. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.